Hello dear friends, today I come your way again with a very, very serious topic. What do you say about others? What is your impression about people? What do you say and what is your conversation, what is the topic about when you meet with friends? You gossip? You talk about people and their weaknesses? Be careful. I was reading the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, from verse 29 onwards. And Jesus had entered the house of Simon Peter and Andrew, James and John, and they told, they told him about Simon's mother-in-law. And Jesus went in and cured this woman, and the woman was well again. What do you say about others? You destroy them or you present them to Jesus? Most often than not, we say all the bad things about people and just leave them to be destroyed. What about praying for them? Have you found something weakling about somebody? Have you found something so bad about a friend? Why do you want to gossip? Speak to Jesus. Speak to the Lord rather than gossip about people. My question is simple. What is the topic that you discuss when you meet friends? but there's a greater friend. Why do you want to destroy others? When they told Jesus about the mother-in-law of Simon, he went in to cure her. If you have found out that a friend has a particular character or is having some weak side of him or her, why don't you talk to Jesus? Why do you want to destroy the person? And this has been the trend of our times. We talk to others about people and destroy them totally. And so they never rise. Some people make a mistake or two, and that is their image forever. We talk about them and destroy them. What do you gain out of it? Why don't you talk to Jesus, rather? If you found out that a friend or somebody is having a particular behavior or character or is, or is needy in one area or the other, Speak to Jesus about it. Be a Christian, be a disciple, be an apostle. Because the disciples and apostles told Jesus about this woman. They didn't go around telling all other people, oh, see this woman, she's sick, see this woman, that and that. Today, I challenge you. This year, I challenge you. When you realize something is not well with another person, speak to Jesus about it and he will be a blessing to that person. Be careful you don't destroy, because when someone's mother-in-law was well again, she served them. When that person you are gossiping about, that person you have found something weak about, if the person is well again, that person will be a blessing to you, like someone's mother-in-law was a blessing to Jesus and the apostles. You will benefit from that. Speak to Jesus about it. Stop the gossip. Think about this. Shalom, peace, and may you be a blessing this year. I'll see you again another time.